things you're going to find as you weave is that your loom's going to need some maintenance. And one of the things that often happens is these warp ties break. And, um, you know, this might be because I've been applying too much tension, but I have a few of these now that are loose and just pull out and it makes uh, trying to warp the loom a little bit difficult. Uh, so, how do you fix that? Ashford sell these uh, stick ties for a reasonable price. They're about five or six bucks, depending on where you get them. And so, what I usually do is keep a packet of these on hand. And when I open a packet, I just get another packet, so I've got them. Um, I've weaved probably 20 projects on my loom. Um, so, you know, it's not too bad an expense. You could use zip ties, but it's gonna make your uh, warp kind of bumpy and probably mess with the tension. So it's probably best to use these. In the packet, there are exactly enough to do a 32 inch loom. Um, I don't know if there are more ties on um, larger looms, but uh, I'm just going to replace the ones that are broken as they break. To detach them from the sprues, you can use a pair of side cutters or even just twist them off. I find twisting them off is going to leave a plastic burr on the top and I'd rather they were smooth, but you can always sand that off. I just use a pair of nail clippers. Um, and you can just get in there and snip them off. I have four ties that need replacing on my loom, so I'm just gonna prepare four, and the others I'll just put back in the bag until I need them again. I'm probably gonna tension things a little less now, um, so maybe I won't need them, but it's good to have spares. To replace the tie, we're just gonna pull out the defective one. Replace it with a nice fresh one. Pretty much the same as when your, your warp came, but if you bought your warp used, you won't have done this before. So, sorry if you bought your loom used, you won't have done this before. And then you just want to make sure that you're going through the tensioning bar in the same direction as the other ties. So for example, this one, we're gonna to wanna to go on this side. So let's do that. When they're new, it takes a reasonable amount of pressure to push them through, but it's just like a fish hook. You push it through, okay, all the way, and then pull it back on itself, and it will just remain there. You want to make sure that these are flat as you wind on. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, it's usually these metal ones that go, um, and they actually went quite fast. So I think when I was learning to weave, I was over tensioning my warp, um, but it's an easy fix to do. And if you didn't build your loom yourself, you picked up yours used, that's how you do it. Hope this was useful and uh, see you next time.